Hey Plancy friends, welcome back to another Plancy video. So, we are currently at Walmart and the jet is about to pass by, girl. I'm so sorry if you had that in the background. You guys, I found a lot of locations, so I don't even know which is which, but I know that all of them are really, really good. This, I'm trying to like recall what this one's at. But over here we have some Cobras, which are slowly starting to roll out. One thing that I did notice that's different than my Lowe's, but I noticed it's pretty similar on Walmart. Whenever one Walmart has like a fresh shipment, they all are getting like almost the same my fresh shipment. And there's a little bit of variety, which is pretty interesting. So that's what, maybe that's how it is for y'all in all the locations or something like that. But here where I live, I noticed that as a pattern and that's amazing because I can just hit one location and if it's dead, I'm like, okay, man, there's no shipments in any of these Walmarts. But then when I go to a Walmart and there's a plant shipment, I'm like, oh my God, they are slowly like getting them. Maybe there'll be like a day or two of a delay, but they're all getting fresh shipments. And yeah, so I've been seeing a lot of Walmart locations with amazing selections of houseplants. Like look at this beautiful Cobra. We've seen better, but it's still pretty interesting that we're seeing it at Walmart for 1984 or 89, I believe. And we're gonna go also to Lowe's and Dollar Tree. So it's going to be a pretty long plant shopping video. I was gonna do an intro and outro, but you guys, like there's just, I've never done an hour long plant shopping video, but I don't think I want it to be like that long for a voiceover, like that would be pretty crazy. Like y'all let me know like what y'all do when y'all watch my videos. I feel like people like do plant chores or house chores because that's what I do. And y'all been telling me that's what y'all do as well because like I like to have somebody on the TV rambling. So it feels like I'm not lonely doing stuff at the house. But yeah, I'm really, really excited. And just, I'm just so excited for spring, you guys. Like there's just so much I want to talk about. Like y'all already know me like, I can have like five conversations in my head, which is pretty crazy. Uh, and yeah, also, so these are 1497, right? And the ones, the other ones that are like more bougie, like with this, they're both self watering pots, surprisingly, right? Like, but the one on the Cobra, which I think you guys are gonna see the, yeah, when it's this shape, those are 1984. When it's the other shape, it's 14 something, which is a really, really good price. I think so. You get a really nice looking, you know, gorgeous plant and i'm just in love here is a beautiful fiddle i thought these are like the small fiddles because i know there's like varieties of fiddles and some are like bushes some can get like really really big like a tree but i think this can get pretty big i think it's just like immature like it's not mature correct me if i'm wrong oh no fiddle leaf yeah i think this is like one of the big ones because i remember a while back Christopher was selling them they were selling a variety that was like a bush. And oh, I just dropped a plant. Now, I don't think no plants were harmed. I think I, I it fell on the cobra, and I think I, I double checked with y'all, like I show y'all. Nothing fell in there. But they be really like shoving these plants together, which it looks gorgeous, but no, nah, I'm just making excuses. It was probably my fault. No, see, as y'all can see, it's fine. I wasn't really like that. Like, you're gonna see a lot of cobras. A little bit squishy squashy i wonder like this was like not his first time being squashed like that but yeah because if you follow my instagram or tiktok you probably saw me dropping one as well one of these palms and y'all they are so pointy and sharp like it literally stabbed me through the nail like what am i gonna do am i gonna sue the plant like what the hell like i it was so painful but i kind of liked it anyways here are some nice golden potos these hanging baskets are like amazing and then they have these small, not same size, they're all six inch pots, but they don't have that hanger. We can just get a micro hanger and look how cheap it is. Look how cheap it is. Like I, come on to it, hurry up. I think this one was missing a stack, but I think they're like nine something. That's a pretty good deal, honestly. And these are, hold up. Those are 10 of these seven. And this is a better deal. I really want to go and put those. I think I want two, like these small ones. And I'm going to put them on the balcony when it's springtime. I want them to grow like crazy because golden potos grow like crazy, you guys. So if you want a jungle with low maintenance and you need a vining plant, just get the... Everybody knows the golden potos is that girl. She's going to deliver and not disappoint, like honestly. So just honestly, you just need one golden potos, but like, I'll probably just get one to be honest. And it will grow like wildfire. You can just propagate it and it's another plant that's really easy to propagate. This is a really beautiful aloha. I'm slowly, slowly trying to share the aloha's and euphoria's. I mean, there's a lot of different varieties. And succulents. Because I know. 
there's some of y'all that really do like them and i think it's from the cold or i'm not quite sure but right now they look gorgeous like the colors are popping which is such a treat and here's my boyfriend <laughs> Okay, so this footage, I was actually talking, like, if I was filming in the video, but I decided to slow it down. But yeah, this one my boyfriend got, he likes his pop, I think that's what they're called. He's a collectible, he collects, like, um, anime and Godzilla, he's so precious. And, um, that's a Kirby shirt, oh yeah, I was saying that we're, we're sharing Kirby shirts. I was like, matchy, matchy, period. Yeah, no period, girl, yeah, that's right. And he got his chips and his sodas. Like that's that's uh, Israel's package. I love him. And yeah, there's a lot of succulents. It was such a reward to see this. There was more succulents than house plants, but they look so good. Like I wasn't even mad, honestly. So many beautiful golden photos, you guys. Oh, and they also had these. This is a variegated. Variegated Jade, I'm pretty sure. Six ninety six. That is not about a price. Crisula oblica, lemon and lime. Beautiful, like just beautiful. I know these become into bushes, and I know that they flower when they get pretty mature. I've seen some pictures; they're gorgeous. Also, that sound in the background. That's the washer. We're doing laundry right now, so. I'm so sorry y'all like I it's just it's a busy home oh god I wish I had like one of those fancy microphones but no also look at all those roses oh my goodness I love me some good roses I think I want to film a video dedicated just for roses because like I was trying to google for some you know varieties like videos on google I mean on youtube and there's not a lot of videos These succulents are just so beautiful, like, I just can't. Cute, cute, cute. So many different colors, textures, sizes. Crisula perforata, variegata, 397. I had this one before, and, like, it just keeps on going and going, y'all. Like, I don't know. It's cute when it's little, but, like, maybe if you put, like, one of those face pots, that'll be pretty fun. I'm making my coffee, y'all. This one was pretty interesting. It was like kind of flat. It looked like a bear paw, but just flat. That's the name. That's the price, and that's how it looks. I feel like, because we're getting pretty close to spring, especially here in San Antonio, in Texas, like, I, I'm pretty sure, we might just get one cold front, and then it's just gonna go off from there, which I can't believe I'm saying this, but I kinda miss summer. It was so brutal and hot, like extremely hot, but, I have the AC center on and it helps with the humidity and right now it's cold and wet <laughs> so I can't and then our heater from the AC central doesn't really like dry out the air so we're getting like humidity problems in here a little bit which I'm kind of scared so now we're at Walmart and I think it's pretty a short video but I try to show you guys I'm not sure if I show you all the planters but this is a really cute terrarium and you guys I really want to do a video with my mom and my boyfriend separate videos Maybe it together, but I think it'll be better to separate because, like, you know, I can get a, like, you know, tax deductions and I can make two terrariums, but I don't know. Maybe we can do it together. I would love to, like, build one with my mom and my boyfriend. No, I think it would be cute, like, separate. And then these propagation stations are so cute. So I posted these on Instagram and TikTok and they just go viral. It's pretty crazy. And there's some mix of people getting mad. They're like, why would I want to buy this if I can get it like, if I can just use like the Alfredo sauce glass bottles or like the pasta glass bottles 
And I'm like, girl, like 1000%, but I'm just showing it because people are curious what's available and oh my God, I'm moving the camera so much. But yeah, like that's why I do it because people want to see what's available. Like don't take it so personal. But she did respond back. But yeah, like it's just, they're cute. And if I had money, I would get one or not right lows. Oh my God, so many jump cuts. Oh my God, wait. Ew, jump, jump, jump. Ooh, why is there so many jumpers? Wait. Okay. Alrighty, there. Calm down with the editing. That was a gorgeous different bike here, by the way. And but yeah, the propagations are super duper cute. But I think it would be like a cute gift. That would be adorable to give as a gift to a plant person, right? Or you can get some of your own cuttings and put them in there and give it to somebody that doesn't have plants or does have plants. That would be a really really cute gift. But now we're at Lowe's, and y'all already know I'm gonna take my time in, in this location. Like. And, oh my god, look at that piece of y'all. Y'all, I learned the hard way. I mean, I've always heard about it, but... And I have experienced it, but I just experienced it recently. I got a little bit, like, up in my head, and... There's just so much going on. Like, I just keep jumping, jumping. Here's an insane, beautiful Monstera Sotopicano. It's huge. Like, super... Well, we seem bigger. But it's very lush. I don't really like this plant. I'm not gonna... Maybe I should do a video, because there's some plants that I do not like. But this one is not the one, like, I love how it looks, but the care pisses me off. This one be acting like a ficus, but she's not a ficus. Like, she needs to be, like, clocked. What's up with the cuts? But yeah, it just, it, it attracts spider mites, and it does it is not forgiving with the watering. Personally, she is not forgiving at all. And here's the Mikeins. I love me some Mikeins for $14.98, and I love to catch paw. I love warm tones. I hate it when it's black like that, like black and white, like very modern. I hate that girl. I just hate it. I like brown. I like warm tones with like green shades. So the plants, right? It just gives off a little bit boho and I'm so like into that aesthetic. Very airy, earthy, welcoming. I just, I love it. And then I'm brown too. So like, I just like, you know, I'm the biggest like, sorry, I was trying to say a joke and that was a bad joke. I didn't mean it like that. Okay, moving forward. Oh my god. And then if I go and edit my videos, I'm gonna like... <laughs> I'm gonna make myself cancel. I'm just kidding. But here's a nice Angonia. I don't know why, but this one, it's... I like to look at it, but I would never bring it home. Maybe because it's displayed in a hanging basket and I hate that. I know that they trail Singonians. They do trail. But... I just don't like that. Sorry, I forgot about the piece of it in the beginning. I, yeah, I, it's because it was variegated, but she got burnt. My piece of leaf, like, three leaves got black. Like, they just got burnt. Like, burnt. And it was only there for, like, in direct sunlight for, like, 30 minutes or 10 minutes. Like, that's all it took, which was crazy. So, yeah, it was pretty sad, but I moved there and she's doing, she's doing okay now. But I love me some piece of leaves. Like, piece of leaves are so for indoors or, like, shaded. Like, they do not want direct sunlight. Only, like, morning or, like, afternoon, right? This is so weird, but I just love his belly. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I don't even know why I feel the need to say that in a plant channel. But if you know me, you know me. And I'm just going to say what's in my mind. But I love his belly. <laughs> it really is a comfy, like, pillow. Like, let me, like, let me live. Literally, if I told him that I said it in the video, he's going to be like, why are you doing that? Like, why are you saying stuff like that? I'm like, I don't know. It's just my channel. I can do what I want. Maybe I shouldn't. Like, this is a really cute pepperonia. I just love... The colors it just gives off like newspaper classic kind of like it just gives off like maybe 80s i don't know it gives off art and i love it i don't have it but i'm slowly getting plants right again I, I, i'm at that i don't have a lot of money right now and so and then you know to go crazy and then i'm giving myself a budget and i'm trying to not go crazy right because i got rid of so many plants i need to slowly very slowly step into this and the irony of it all that I'm going to be doing like a plant haul because I like to like show you all the plants I got for the month. And I feel like there's a lot of a lot of plants that I got. Here's a lemon line for the dandron. I have one like this, but she did not look like this. But this one is fresh, like propagated, so it's super duper full. But mine's getting pretty leggy and I'm trying to fix it. I have some cuttings propagating in water. But this is a really, really pretty plant. Like if you have a window with like nice lighting coming through, morning, right? When the UV rays are not too intense, the way the new leaves come out gold, like orangey, and they glow the color of gold. 
with the sunlight, it is beautiful. Extremely mesmerizing. Not as mesmerizing as my skin's, because it looks so beautiful with sunlight. Also, this fiddle was drowning in water. I felt so bad. But one time, like, I, I, I got a plant and I, like, poured it. But I made a mess. And the employee was looking at me and I was like, I... Because I feel, I feel like I should have dumped that water out. But I just... I don't want to. I don't want to get an employee staring at me, cause I know I'm trying to save the plant, and that's what basically what I'm doing. But they don't think that they're just gonna. I'm making a mess, so just to not like start a problem. I don't know. That was a pretty plant, but it looks kind of finicky. Here's a bird of paradise, which it is on my wish list because like I need a bird of paradise in my balcony and indoors. But you so need like you need a lot of light or you need a grow light. But they're fun. Here's some shingles. Sounds like a bad word in Spanish. Here's another one that's overwatered. I just hope it evaporates pretty fast. Because like, what's going on? Like what's going on? But other than the palms, everything looks really nice. Pretty, pretty aesthetically pleasing. And this different, oh no, I'm, well, I'm pretty sure I'll pick it up later on, but here's a philodendron, I think it's a lemon and lime, maybe not, maybe it's a lemon, somebody please like let me know, I'll pin it, but this is a philodendron, it's kind of cute, and then this is a different back here that I was just like drooling over, but I believe it's a uh, camouflage different back here, which I do have, but it's a little bit more like wider and I feel like this one was more greener which I like how this one looked a lot because maybe it was on a dark spot and it wasn't getting enough light so it was putting out more green right to photosynthesize but yeah it was beautiful though I just love me some different back yes here was a huge lush full neon potos <sighs> I already have a neon potos and I know they grow like crazy, like mine's already putting out leaf after leaf right now. And I don't like that price jump. I'm sorry, like, yes, I know it's a dollar increase, but I don't like that. Like, y'all didn't even try to make it look cute. Like, that's two zero. Like, that's bad marketing. Like, you never put a zero in a main number. Like, what? But people are gonna still buy it. I mean, I bought some plants that are 20 98 so I can't really say much. But it's just like, why? Like, for, like you're for real. And then here are some birds' nest ferns. This one's really, really cute. I like how smooth it is. And like, it looks kind of funky and weird. Really, really fun. But every time, it's it's kind of annoying. Like, you really gotta bottom water them because the crown, which is the middle part, does not like to stay moist. So, yeah. And these massive different backyards are $22.98. Like, that's so crazy. But, I don't know. I think if I do get one, I'll put it in the balcony when the sun calms down like because the sun's pouring into my balcony but when, when spring and summer comes in it's gonna go more higher so there won't be direct sunlight sorry there won't be direct sunlight hitting um the balcony so that would be really really great to place it in there because it will be bright indirect lighting and i think a different balcony would appreciate that and i just love me a good like foliage so currently right now i'm propagating a lot of my vining plants right now and the reason why is because I want to hang a lot of them. Like this year, I want the aesthetic of my balcony to be vining plants, period. Now, there will be some plants that I want to have like big leaves like this peace lily, but maybe not a peace lily because it does better indoors than the balcony in my setting, honestly. So, uh, but a different backyard will be super cute, a better paradise. Caladiums are really fun. Things that are full on foliage would be awesome to be placed in the balcony with vining plants. That's my study that I'm trying to go for, and I'm hoping I can stay with that, but I want to propagate a lot of the plants that I can, so I don't get to buy that many plants. And whenever the season ends, I'll pick my favorite ones, and the others, I'll just give them away for free to family members or on Facebook. People are not complicated sometimes. So, yeah, because I won't take all the plants that I'll propagate. Like, I already know myself. And the winter, I get overwhelmed. I just don't have enough light. The, the days are shorter. Pests are just there. And there's so much stuff happening in the seasons, like in the winter, right? And fall. 
that I just can't take care of that many. But in the spring and summer, I'm ready. Like, hit me. Like, the plant fever is just kicking in, y'all. And look at this Miranda. And guess what? I took her home, girl. I took her home. I was telling my girlfriend, like, this was, this would have been cheaper, but they increased the price. And I was like, should I take this one? I was like, can you hold it? Sugar bunches. And I was like, oh, yeah. This is the one. This is the one. And I have her in the living room. And she's doing really, really good. Mostly because, sorry about the notifications. Mostly because, like, my apartment is humid. So, like, she's going to thrive. But I do have tap water. I water all my plants with tap water. The fish tank. Not the fish tank. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm still kind of sad about it. But, yeah. She gone. This is a zero plant. And she was hidden. And going through some stuff. Now, if I saw, like, a young person. I just, like, I hate saying that. But, like. What, it's because usually like the younger people on the cashiers don't really care <laughs> and I can just ask for a clearance and it's just like a really sweet guy or a sweet lady which you can tell but I don't, in my locations they don't really seem that sweet they seem like they're, like they're just annoyed which I understand because you know it's because you know cu customers can be a little bit annoying and yeah I would have totally asked for a clearance on that because I'm getting a little bit more comfortable but it's missing the cash pot and they're probably going to have to call back up and stuff like that and I don't want to do all that so but a zebra plant is super fun. I did have one. She was doing pretty good. But when I had my little episode, I threw her away. Because I knew she was a diva. And I was like, I'm not even going to try it with you right now. Which I kind of regret. But it's okay. And then here, I think this is the same Monstera Sotipicana. And there was another one that y'all will see later on that was hidden. But this was insane. Like, I know that some of y'all are like crazy. I don't mean in a negative way. And y'all will like get this within a heartbeat, but I just can't. Like, it's maybe if if I place it outside, because I have killed one. I thought I did. I placed it outside, and she came back. She literally came back. She was like, "This is where this is where I want to be." And then I placed her inside, and she hated me. So I don't know if she doesn't like the vibes inside. I'm just kidding. I think she like I think she liked the humidity and the warmth and the bright and direct light that she was getting in the balcony than inside and she was doing pretty good in the grill lights but as she, started, as she started to grow some vines were not getting that much light and she started to get mad and i was getting mad because i was like you're being picky like there's some plants so like be happy where you're at like be happy with what you have but she didn't care so now she's in the trash but yeah <sighs> these are pepperonis by the way they're really really cute but i don't know they they i don't know i just they they, they, get, they become squishy I don't know. Maybe I'll try, but not for twenty dollars, girl. Here is some Baltic blues. One of my faves. I just don't like how far the leaf to the note is. That kind of pisses me off a little bit. I don't know why, but I just don't like it. But it is cute. She can be cute. Here are some of these expensive watering cans, which I was so dumb and got one because I was like, it's gonna be so cute. And I rarely ever use it, but it is true. Somebody commented on it. I do use it for this too. It is great to get between like crevices, like when it's too tight to water, like you're in my shelf. Sometimes my big watering can that I have is too big. And that one gets through. Like she does a pretty good job. So here's the Raffordoma Terza Parma. I did my best to pronounce it, but it's also known as Amina Monstera. Another really, really fun plant. I had one. What happened to her? Did I do that one away too? Oh my god, David. Like, you. 698 Stagman Friends. The way I'm exposing myself right now is pretty insane. Like, I can edit this stuff out and pretend like it didn't happen and just, like, look like a good person, but I just. I prefer not to. I prefer. Maybe because I'm lazy. It's, it's probably that. But I like to be real and I, I like to feel like we're having a conversation on FaceTime. It's, it seems like it's just me doing a lot of talking, but, like. I hope you guys are talking with me too. I don't know. Here is a Tri Star Stramante. Really, really fun. And I believe I see a Mudbug on it, which is pretty insane. Here is some Monstera Perus. Super duper iconic. I know it pisses a lot of people off seeing this in the big box stores because they paid a lot of money for it, but these are stunning. Imagine finding like a sports one or a burger to like that would be so wild. Like imagine. Like just imagine. Like you go to Lowe's and you see that. A lot of you tell me that I motivate y'all to go to the Lowe's. 
or go plant shopping and yeah we're like i don't have money i'm like girl then that makes two of us just go do some window shopping girl or take your own man i don't know like you know <laughs> like <laughs> sometimes when i don't have money i'm not gonna lie i don't do this all the time but i've been doing it recently i like to be like hey boo like can you take me to plant shopping and like i'll like massage your back like is that a good deal and he always says yes so it's a win-win okay um yeah and this is a pretty insane find these are the silver streak potos this is my first time seeing it and then in a different location i got another one i'm super happy that i did because these were kind of burnt which is pretty sad these should be on clearance i could have asked on clearance if there was like a millennial i hate saying that but you know what i mean if i saw somebody that was giving off the right vibes i could have been like hey this one's a little bit burnt or no i won't say a little because it, it seems like no i'll be like hey this one's a little bit damaged is it possible that i can get it on clearance i just want to take it home and like bring it back to life and make it look as gorgeous as it was with like all the other ones i just want to give it a chance you know I, I, people are not gonna buy it they're gonna toss it out and like lows because no one bought it and i just want to give it a second a second line you know i don't know what do y'all say to convince the people like or do you just ask like you just like have the face i feel like y'all say like i just ask and they give it to me like okay well we don't all have pretty faces okay we can't all like, get plants on clearance like that okay we miss a lot of plants but yeah that plant was pretty cute and then i was telling my boyfriend like this is a fun pl this is a plum a fun plant you guys like this is a watermelon something okay i'm pretty sure i showed the name tag i do have it and it's doing super duper good i'm beyond grateful that's something because i asked you guys a while back when i did a plant shopping video and i saw one and i was like does anybody have this plant is it easy to look after because i would love to stick it home but i feel like i'm gonna kill it and i'm super duper happy that somebody commented saying like no it's really easy they were like you should get one i highly recommend it and i went back i got it and i have it and it's doing amazing so thank you so much when you guys give me y'all's input because like i would have never bought it and i'm this was one of my favorite plants like, it's just it's gorgeous here's a limelight drancina beautiful but yeah i was telling my boyfriend like should i get that the silver streak potos or should i get that maranta like i don't know if they're gonna be pushing up more silver streak potos which they are right now um but i didn't know that know that at the moment and so i started going to more locations it's a beautiful aquanema for $20. I just love the colors. It's beautiful. Yes, mama, give us all the colors, please. Or should I get the lemon lime maranta? You know? I've never seen one that full. And that's the cheapest I'm, I'm gonna get it because, like, the big ones are like $20.98. This one's $16.98. I'm saving $4. You know? And it's really big. It's almost the size of a. It's kind of the same size as a massive lemon lime maranta on those massive hangy baskets. No, I was like, just get this one. And I was like, okay, thank you. I just needed like a different like confirmation. And I didn't, I'm, I'm really, really happy that my boyfriend like, convinced me to get it because like, yeah, he didn't really convince me, but yeah. This is an ivy. Ivies are so pretty, but they're just like a no. <laughs> I feel like a lot of us tried. I feel like a lot of us, when we first got into plants, we picked that one up because it was so pretty. And it died from like spider mites or like had problems because of humidity or underwatering, which is pretty crazy. Um, this is a cute nerve plant, aka Fetonia. Super beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I wish I'd have put the little strings back in the holes because like I've I have i have been getting yelled at a lot recently, a while back. And that's how the plants drink water, so I do my best to put it in there. This is a fun croton. This I think can do a little bit good in the balcony but i'm not gonna risk it but that one's beautiful i think it's called the gold dust it's beautiful it's really really gorgeous here's dragon's tongue i believe a word name but i like it yeah dragon's tongue 598 and this is one of the small pots it's just no it's a big pot it's a big planter because there's small ones and there's big ones on these and then this is a snow white what waffle plant does anybody have this one? <laughs> this is a fun one, but I think it's a plant that wants humidity. My nose looks so disgusting. I already cut them, but like, that's cool. That's just nasty. I know they, they like to stay moist and they like humidity and some lights because they're barricaded. But somebody let me know what you think. I'm watching some coffee, y'all. This Stephen Bucky is cute. Look at that. 
That would be cute. I would have bought this one, honestly. I would have so bought that plant. That coffee's good. And here is some little Christmas stuff. Ooh, excuse me, I am so sorry. I just burped, I'm so sorry. These are really cute, but so out of season. Where is the clearance? Where is the discount? Like, be for real, Lowe's. <laughs> I feel bad for these employees. I know they're so busy. They have a lot going on. I have so much right now. And then their big, their, their peak, I believe, is starting to happen because, like, spring and summer is one of the most busiest times for them. I'm, I'm pretty sure because Lowe's is a, it's, it's a garden center, right? And outdoor stuff, right? So... Ugh, my boyfriend is so... I just love when he holds plants for me. It's, like, so cute and such a vibe. Like, he's mine, y'all. Like, don't even play with me right now. Because, like... No, because I'm going be saying, like, yo, he's so sweet. But I'm not that jealous. I'm not a jealous type. That's a lie. I was worse back then, but I'm getting better. But, yeah, he's my baby. I love him so much. Here's some neon photos. Y'all need to give me some of y'all's personal stuff, too. Because I'll be giving everything out here. Like, do y'all go with y'all's husbands or boyfriends or girlfriend or wife plant shopping and do they hold your plants like isn't it such a cute vibe like do they follow you along or they just like go out and like look at other stuff because my boyfriend follows me along but whenever my brothers join me or my cousin they no my cousin follows me but my brothers they just go off like they, they go and look at other stuff <laughs> i feel like you know to each their own but do they follow you and hold the plants for you? Do they, do they follow you and talk to you? Do they follow you and get on their phone? Because my boyfriend just... For some reason, he was listening to me, but... Because oh, I was talking to him. Like, Duh, that's why I slowed it down. But when I'm talking, he's just usually on his phone and just following me. Which is cute. I ran to get one of those Drancinas. I think it's pretty underrated. And I want to give it like a spotlight. I, I think it needs more love. This is some of her compotos. She does not look that cute, but because of that, she looks cute. You know, does that make sense? Like, it doesn't look lush and full, which is what I like, but it's still super adorable. It's, I guess because it's trying. That's probably why I say that. Some ravens. There's a zebra plants. I should have put it in the front so people can see it. Or an employee can put it on clearance because it was hidden all the way to the back. I know someone's trying to like get it. I don't know, girl, but... Oh, and I saw this through the this and I was like, I cannot believe I skipped this plant. And I don't have one, but I'm not going to buy it like this. I know they sell it in the small inch pots, and I'm going to wait for that. But here's a Maranta. Really cute cash pot. I like to call my aesthetic, even though it's not that, but it's kind of similar. I like my aesthetic to be like boho and jungle. But I know there's people that, my mom, my mom, girl, she likes modern and plants, right? What are you? <laughs> like, what is your aesthetic? Like, is it boho? Is it modern? Is it, my mom likes farmhouse. No, she's converting to farmhouse now. But like, what is your aesthetic, you know? And I know it's not like just put a label on it, like, just describe it. Like I said, like mine's not boho, but it's kind of similar to boho. It's just white. When I say white, I mean like lots of light coming in and everything looks bright because white reflects, right? And I need my place to look super bright so all my plants can have a lot of light. Oh my god, am I what am I rapping? Like what the hell? I'm just kidding. And yeah, I, I like that. I like warm tones. I already told you that, right? And I like foliage, I like green, I love textures. Like, give me a jungle. Like, just give me a jungle. Like, that's what I love. What are the bugs? I know somebody quoted me on that saying, like, that's so real. And, like, it's true. Like, nobody wants bugs in their home. Unless we invite them. Like, people, I know people use, like, ladybugs and stuff like that to, like, get rid of pests. I can already hear somebody saying, like, oh, my God, you ramble so much. Okay, girl. Like, it's... <laughs> like, what do you want me? I can't just... <laughs> like, hello. Like, what am I supposed to say? Like just hello this is a bird nest oh no bird of paradise did i call it yeah it's a bird of paradise i want to see one of those on clearance i really do i want to be stalking my lows and try to find one on clearance 
here's another one this one's really cute too and i think in a bit yeah in a bit we're gonna go to the dollar tray i got excited i don't know i think we have a little bit more to go yeah like a little bit more but i'm super excited because like i love dollar tree a lot for planters and i want to buy more i need more honestly what else then? there's some drancinas right there people come looking by blues but they're drancinas there's the plant i do recall the conversation we were having he was talking about work because he's still working at amazon he got he upgraded to a pg i believe which was like training as a pa kind of like getting experience with a pa and the drama that he tells me is insane he's like my little like my like my novella like i love it i love looking at plants and listening to drama a little bit a little bit it's like a vibe I'm like, oh my god, no, she didn't. And why did she do that? Like, why would why would anybody do that? Like, it's just a vibe, okay? That's just how it is sometimes. Like, that's just how it has to be. It's a good distraction. I don't know why, like, the video does that. It, it seems like the frames are not framing. Like, it's better. I don't know. I do want to get a, a, a filming camera, but I don't know, girl. My anxiety is bad. I do think they have small cameras but they're expensive like dumb expensive they're like girl oh my god i think i saw them for like 800 dollars. <gasps> i mean that's 100 percent valid as a tax deduction which is probably valid for me to probably do that but i don't have that kind of money right now girl i like to put my money on food and plants but it's kind of hard for me to save and i have enough for my bills so i don't know if i have enough to like split that <laughs> for like a camera like i think my my i film with my phone I've been getting some DMs on my Instagram, people tell me, like, what kind of, what do you use to film? Sometimes it's pretty obvious, like, right now it's like, like, a, like an iPhone, but sometimes when the lighting is just right and the frames per second are behaving, it do be giving a professional, but, yeah, so I use my iPhone, I, I've always, all my, this is, I don't know, this is probably gonna, like, sound bad or look bad, but all my videos are filmed with my iPhone 13 Pro Max, that's all I use, okay? Like, in all of my other videos, I think it was filmed with my iPhone 11 Pro Max. So, I've never filmed it with a professional camera. It's because iPhone is just better. Like, it's so easy to air shop. <gasps> We're at the Dollar Tree. Sorry, I know somebody commented saying like I sound like a dead W. And I was like, you're so rough for that. But I don't care. Like, it is what it is. Like, you know, <laughs> you know. And that he was telling me that's for a kneeling pad. There's not much to say about that. But those are great, like, when you're gardening. I mean, that's what it's for. When you go garden, those are great, right? Here are these nice hangers. What are they called? What are they called? Just hangers? And I'm using this currently. I think about three of them or two of them. As cash pots for my ceiling. I try to make my watering pretty easier. And I like these big ones also for bottom watering. But I gotta bring the plant down. Unless I have it on a macrame hanger. So that's what I've been thinking. But I still wanna get one of those big ones because there are some plants that I do gotta upgrade and those are a perfect size. And here's the other one. They do have pre done drainage holes, but I'm not doing that. Yeah, I was like, no. But. There are some plants that I would like to do that, but yet again, how am I going to water it? Like, I have a balcony, water's going to go down to the neighbors, I could be really considerate. So, everything that I hang from inside and outside needs to have a cash pot, because I don't want my neighbors to complain, nor do I want to have a mess in the apartment. So, that's one of the struggles. They do have saucers, but they don't have them. I need big saucers. They do sell different varieties. They have small, medium, and large. I need some really big ones. They had some that were big, but they had wheels, which are amazing, but I don't need the ones with wheels. But those saucers are pretty good, you guys. Don't be scared of those. Those are really, really good. I, my general collection has those kind of saucers. They're amazing. Those are some bird... Hummingbirds feeders, which are great. These are all the sizes. These are really cute. Like, I just wish I had a yard. I was <laughs> buy all of this. I would love to grow. Like, maybe some jalapenos in there. Wouldn't that be so cute? Or cilantro. I hate these. Y'all know I hate, like, I hate it. 
they're cute i know some people like them but it's not my cup of tea i hate it when they have the little plate stuck in there it pisses me off i don't know why i just i don't like that i need to see the water and then these are really cute these are like barrels kind of right classic barrels it's just super cute and they have actual the holes in there which is amazing lots of different plants with you guys it's pretty insane these are amazing like amazing amazing like if you can grow lettuce this will be super great on that or like vegetables or even if i was you and if you know if i had a yard and i had a table in the yard that's at the shade i would do that because you're supposed to stack them and i would put some vining plants like i'll put some golden potos american potos potos in joy pearls in jade green hearted medendron you know a variety and make it into a beautiful tower as a centerpiece on the table i think that would be super cute so there's a little idea i think i don't know what these are called but oh cocoa liner there you go because I, I knew i was gonna forget and everything in dollar tray is a dollar 25 unless it says otherwise so those are the sauces that i was talking about here i am backing up for you it was a pretty small selection usually it's pretty big but they had almost everything like 80 percent of everything which was amazing and they even have some new stuff i've never seen these and i just know that this is kind of like a thing a lot of people like like the kind of design here are the big sauces with the wheels yeah i do have this on my massive jantina to move things around like plants around these do work like i have mine and it's super duper old it's like two years old and it's going strong so like don't underestimate the dollar tray okay like y'all need to like if you need some stuff girl just go yeah, period. and then i saw these domes which are used for like vegetables like when you're growing like vegetables and it's still kind of cold you use as protectors or if you have like predators like bunnies and stuff like that you use these to like protect them or as a boost but i was thinking this would be really great for propagations like if you have i think this will be great to propagate a string of hearts because one of my biggest things to propagate string of hearts is transferring it to soil because those roots stick to the sphagnum moss and it's extremely annoying that i just give up and i just pull it out and i i just get the whole thing with the sphagnum moss and put it on top of the soil and wish for the best but th those containers are like i think a pretty smart idea to like use for that right i don't know i feel like I, that, that made no sense maybe i should like buy it and sh like kind of show you what i'm talking about they had these gloves which is good but i'm weird and i kind of like to feel the soil in my fingers not when it gets into my nails but there's like hacks for that like you just scrape your nails on a bar of soap at all i like to feel the soil in my hands i don't know it's like play-doh it's like playing in the sand which i know is kind of gross but that's what it is for me here are some seeds they do sell seeds and i have grown seeds from them when i had a yard these do work y'all okay they're four for a dollar the ones that i love to get all the time and i can see some right there zinnias highly 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 recommend zinnias i love zinnias another one that i love a lot they don't sell them but it's another plant it's like a massive bush but you grow it from seed and oh that's basically it it's the mexican sunflower it's these beautiful red flowers the hummingbirds love it and the pollinators love 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 but yeah like if you're looking for it, you can like google some videos or you can see what i'm talking about but they're beautiful you guys they're they're so impressive but yeah guys that is basically it for today hope you guys enjoyed today's new plan shopping video i had so much fun i know i'm not showing my face for the outros but it was just a lot girl it was a whole video and video sorry and yeah i just wanted to chill and chit chat with you like we're on the phone like on a phone call and yeah hope you guys enjoyed sending positive advice to each and every single one of you guys let me know what you guys would buy or what are your thoughts on the stuff that we saw i always do appreciate when you guys leave comments in the comment section it does help me a lot don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't i gotta say that to boost on the algorithm <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye!